All right, let's have a real quick look at study link 3.1. What is my rule? And all we need to do here is use, um, to begin for number one, addition. It says add 40. And we have these in and out. So basically, we add 40 to the in to get the out. So 20 plus 40 gives us 60. 190 plus 40 gives us 230 and so on and so on. And next up we have minus 60. But now we don't have anything in the in, we have only out. So we have to think like this. What <clears throat> minus 60 equals 50? What minus 60 equals 50? And we can just do the opposite, which is add. So we now know 110 minus 60 is 50. And 80 minus 60 is 20. So we can just do the opposite and figure out what goes in the in. If we don't have the in, we go backwards from out. The next bit here, we are going to need to figure out the rule. So um, let's just have a look. So they've given us two. This one goes from 131 to 177 looks like we're adding something here so what would I add to 104 to get to 150 well the answer is I would add 46 I think but let's double check that let's see if this one works what's 131 plus 46 that's going to give us 177. So we're good there, that works. So we'll call the rule plus 46 and we can fill the rest in. <clears throat> um, again though here, we need to go backwards. So 80 minus 46, because we're going backwards now, is going to give us 34 here. And then you can add 46 to this. And going this way, you're going to subtract 46 to figure out what that would be. Now, when we look over here, the next one, we go from 70 to 490. We go from 20 to 140. I don't think this is going to be addition because this one went up by a lot. And this one didn't go by as, as much. So this is going to be some kind of multiplication. So this is probably the e easier one to figure out down here. What times 20 equals 140? And if you think about that, you will figure out that it is 7. But let's double check. Does that work? 70 times 7 equals 490. Yes, it does. So now we're good. Um, down here, all right, so we got 60 times 7. Think about 6 times 7 first, and then that would be 420. Now, here, you better go backwards, right? So now 63 divided by 7 is going to give us 9, and I'll let you figure this one out on your own. And I think the rest of this. Um, are pretty simple, but this is basically saying there are 20 nickels in a dollar. We're basically saying you need to do times 20 here. So does that work? 3 times 20 is 60, 5 times 20 is 100. That's good. So now figure the rest of those out on your own. And then make up your own. Make it something interesting, not like plus 1 or times 1. And then a little bit of Addition practice, please show your work. That's all. Thank you.